as a um, middle of the road judge, meaning uh, neither side uh, goes in with an easy day. Mark, Mark, Judge Eden, who you mentioned, is a retired judge. Why would why would they appoint a retired judge? Well, he can first of all, he doesn't have a docket, and so a case like this could be so demanding on as crushed as the judicial system already is. It, it could be that a, a skilled, seasoned judge such as Judge Eaton would not have a, a docket otherwise. It could handle all the motions, the attention, and otherwise that might be given to this. But I will tell you that it, not only would he be excellent, but the other three, none of them have had any significant controversy that I'm aware of at all. I've known uh, Judge Lester for well over 30 years. We were law school classmates, and, and he's just spectacular. Judge Nelson has a great disposition on the bench. And Judge Galuzzo is, is well-liked and well-respected by all sides. I think that any three of those, uh, or any four of those, there, there'll be, um, they, they, would, they would act very, very well, and, and we could find uh, ourselves having the kind of trial that we hope to have. Rod, when do you see this trial actually, I mean, assuming it gets to trial, how long, what kind of a timeline are we talking about here? The lawyers would, uh, they'll be discussing that once, the, once they get kind of past the preliminaries. And, and you know, one of the things that I, I know that uh, everybody will be focusing on is whether or not this case actually ends up being tried in Seminole County. That'll be decided late. They may even try to seat a jury before they make. I, I've done high-profile high prosecutions, and I can tell you uh, that, that uh, O'Mara's office is, and is already in the process, I'm sure, of gathering all the pretrial publicity and evaluating it. There may be poll, polling information. All that will be determined. So some of that will be, uh, uh, there'll be a date set for trial, and, and it'll be substantially in the future. And then there'll be a question of whether or not they can seat a jury there or they have to move it and go somewhere else, which, again, may shape uh, whether or not a senior judge takes it or not. I agree with Mark that the convenience of a senior judge is that uh, typically they don't have an ongoing docket, and right. it, it keeps the rest, the rest of the court system moving simply, but it's it's also pretty rare in high-profile cases that they go to senior judges. Right. Uh, Mark, I appreciate it. Rod Smith as well. Thank you.